Hello, I'm Asa and today is mail day. I'm very excited because I have just received, all the way from America, a second-hand set of 465 Junes replica poker chips. These are uh, impossible to get in the UK. The selection of poker chips available to us um, is very limited. So I went to the trouble of purchasing these on Poker Chip Forum and sorting out shipping and paying import tax to get a look and a feel for these China clays that are exact replicas of the poker chips used at the Dunes Casino between 1955 and sometime in the 1990s. Uh, so I'm really excited, I love a good mail day and I thought what better way to kick off this channel uh, than uh, a good old fashioned bit of unboxing poker chip porn. Um, so thanks for watching, uh, let's get underway. I'm in, I'm getting somewhere. Sorry about the wobbly camera. I've been really excited to get these and I haven't had to wait long. Uh, for some reason, the most economy cheap shipping I could find uh, was here from the States in less than 48 hours from when they were collected from the seller's house. Um, so they must have been thrown straight on a plane. The plane must have been idling on the road um, outside the guy's house ready. Ah, I'm finding my first little wrap of chips here. I'm gonna get them all out first and then we're gonna have a look at them in their entirety. Very nice. So they are $1. Lovingly packaged just for me. These. More one dollars. My poker table is covered in foam. Ah, this is the remaining uh, five dollars. So, fantastic. Here we go. Let's get into some of these bags. Let's have a look at the one dollars first. Let's get them and stack them out. They've got a lovely feel already. Okay, that's 20, nice. So we're gonna use that stack of 20 to measure out all the others and build a little wall of chips. So the seller was telling me that some of these chips have been oiled. Um, I'll have to pick his brains on which ones because uh, down the line I may want to oil the rest. One of the things about China clays is there's ever such a slight difference um, in height between the different denominations sometimes. Um, and this is definitely the case with these fives. So I'm gonna measure these fives up to what I think is 20 and then just check. Yep, yeah, that's 20. Okay, so that is the chips all unpacked. They look absolutely amazing. Uh, I would say they've got a really authentic casino clay feel, uh, not dissimilar to Paulson's. Now I haven't handled that many Paulson's in my time, only the odd uh, single chip and small stacks. But I'd say these feel really stylish and far, far better than those 14 gram uh, slugged chips that we normally play with in this country or the 11.5 uh, ABS chips. A bit of a funny old breakdown. I've got uh, a Rogue uh, 4 
$25 chips uh, above and beyond the 60 that were already there. And I've got one uh, sort of loose five, um, which gives me in total 465. Now these chips are safely unpacked, I'm gonna rack them up into these chip racks so I can have a good look at them and see how many of each denomination I've got. So I've actually encountered a uh, slight issue with racking the chips up. Um, I've got these sort of standard acrylic chip racks I ordered from China here. Um, and as you can see from the video, I can only get 19 in a row. That won't do, will it? I wonder if that's just for the fives because of the thickness issues that I talked about. the 25s to go in the racks so uh, yeah it's just the fives that don't so the racks make it easier to count them for me now to have a look at the denominations but I think probably I'm going to just end up sticking these in a, in a standard case so I don't have to worry I obviously can't have 19 in a row because that's gonna lead to um, issues with the bank um, at the end of the night when people are racking up chips or um, yeah they're just not going to get the right number of chips that they've they've bought in for I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me unbox my very own set of June's commemorative poker chips. Before I put these away, all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more poker videos from me, please do subscribe. If you're in the market for a poker set, please check out my eBay shop where I sell bits and pieces of my collection from time to time. I'd be happy to help sort you out with some chips.